Or is the Dreamland Express? What is that? So the Dreamland Express is uh, when you manually input the the gentlemen's, you uh -huh. get 15 extra frames of like and lag cut off from your, your last jab. So you can combo jab to jab into jab to jab into jab to jab and then like a yeah, side B. Why afterwards. is that called the Dreamland Express? Because in the games there was a character, I think it was Mr. Sandman, and that was his like signature attack. And he was like the final boss type of character. Huh. And Kirby. Interesting. Alright, well 72% on West already. You see Wes trying to go for those jabs right there. There's the one, two, three. Yep. Not able to follow up with the, the side B. It looked like a, I know he usually dashes into a Joel Haymaker. Oh, oh, oh no, no, that's it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing a much different YMCA. Without the, uh, the existence of uh, an escape option like a B on paper, um, a much more aggressive Donkey Kong. Yeah, he can actually go off stage and edge guard for once. I mean, just the the use of every tool he has is just completely different. You know, his down B is a lot more uh, punishable. It's better at the ledge because it's going to catch a lot of the, the options from Little Mac. Still utilizing the punch, though. Oh, no. Okay, good directional air dodge. Treating back to the ledge. Very smart. Uh, that's a lot of buttons. And he's going to get punished for it. 78%. Okay, getting a dash attack and getting rid of that KO punch. The up tilt. The grab. And it gets the gentleman's. YMCA tech the, tech the gentleman, but still got hit by the end of another gentleman. But down air into up air. I love when that, that actually combos. Again, a quick down tilt to side B, but yet again, YMCA is just not letting him breathe for a minute. Ooh, getting the armor from that S match, throwing out another S match, looking for the tech chase, but not finding it. Oh no, is that it? Oh no, just barely out of percent range for it. Yeah. Oh, he actually let it rip. What? West typically is very conservative with his KO punches. That's that's kind of surprising. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, he's dead. Yeah. So I believe this is going to be a best of five. This should be a best of five, yep. And then the winner of this plays K9. Mm -hmm. The winner of that will play Nitro. Nitro. I know why Wes is performing so well. It's his ruby shirt. Ah, uh, yes. That, you know, that has to be it. He's never worn that ruby shirt to Wednesday Night Fights before. It's his favorite shirt. <laughs> Is it really? It's one of his favorite shirts. <laughs> okay, we're jumping into game two. Let's see what uh what Wes can do to combat YMCA's aggression. Oh, we got the punch meters on deck too. We'll get the quick jab and yeah, that's the thing. That's true on DK because he's such a big, you can get down throw into the gentleman's and then all of a sudden DK just ate 45% off of that. Well, you know, we are saying, DK is kind of heavy, so he is A heavy in the game, so he's, you know, 45%, not really too much of a threat. Oh, no, and then there's... We're gonna click down to the side B and he gets the KO punch. That's what I was wondering, if he was going to use it again, because he did, you know, utilize the KO punch last time. Right. YMCA has been recovering high, forcing the jump uh, quite a bit. And now with the new animation on the KO punch, it does it's great anti-air. And you can't spam that down B anymore because you can side B over it. Us match not going to clip. Got to be right under him. And again, we're seeing a completely different West from uh, game one. Yeah, we're going to charge down smash? Nope, going for no. down tilts. Yet again, if he gets that two frame down tilt, he can go ah. for the down tilt to side B. But yet again, that armor on that side B allowed YMCA to take the stock right there. Yeah, well, uh, Donkey Kong actually has the armor on uh, quite a few moves. 
Stop. Why would you do that? Ian? What? Well, YMZA knows better. He, he's even yelling at himself. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's it's the panic option, you know? One that, like, oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. I think it's just because Wes isn't, you know, pummeling. He's opting to go for the grab right away, or the throw right away, so it doesn't give his opponent an opportunity to think about it. So if you're holding in, and you just continue to hold in, that's kind of what you know, Wes is looking for. Yeah. Two KO punches to zero. And that should be a dead little match. Oh, oh, I oh. lied. He had a double jump. Oh, no, but that's the dead little match. Yeah, another clutch armor side B coming out from YMCA. You know, I think we're seeing YMCA utilize armor a lot, a little more than uh, Wes has. Oh, oh, oh yeah, no, he's dead. Yeah. He's dead. Oh no, he has a side B. No, no he's dead. He's oh dead. my god. <laughs> Put one on the giant punch meter. Wes is just like, how dare you? How dare you disrespect me like that on the street? battle of the neutral bees? I need to see Wes use the charge punch. You know, you know what was go for an edge guard so, with charge punch. You know what was so optimal about that Kong punch though? It armored through the side B. Yeah. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Okay. So one, one Three, giant punch versus two, two KO punches. One, and they're gonna be have a lot of games on a uh, on Pokemon Stadium too. Ooh, great pivot grab. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to be able to land the side B. It looks like YMCA has started DIing out as soon as he starts getting hit by the gentleman. Yet again, Wes manages to get him off stage. Oh, that was a really risky shield right there. Am but I the only one that wants to see down smash? Thank you. Thank you. It whiffed, but you know you're going for it. Down smash at the ledge. Still works. Still thing. Yep. And good forward to off stage. Do it. Do it right now. Oh, he, oh, he wanted he oh, wanted the nair off stage to oh. footstool. Oh, down smash. Come on, Wes. Oh, that should be death. Yep. Wes managed to sneak behind one. Oh no. He just waited for him to press a button so that he could just side beam for it. Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure we're, using, we're seeing YMCA utilize armor better than Little Mac. Okay, another F tilt at the ledge and now no, going for another down tilt. Not really getting those two frames. You know what? Big down smash would work. Oh, 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 okay. Well, here's a re-grab, and yet again, a quick, quick combo. Gets a back air out of it, too. KO punch, go for the gazelle. No, oh, get scooped right out of that. And he went super low for that. Yeah, he wants to, you know, confirm that kill is gone. Yeah. Or that, that stock is gone. Hey, but now we see West you know, starting to fight back. Up smash finally clipping through the, the platform. All right. That's going to even up the stocks. West on is what could be his tournament stock. Oh, messed up the dash. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Very unhealthy shield. Come on, do it. Charge neutral B. He'll never suspect it. Oh my god. Care much? What are you doing? You're gonna move <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> He lucked out so hard. He's, he struggled. He, he, he panicked. He that panicked. was a panic option. Yeah. Yeah. There was like three different KO options and or he opportunities within that one second. Yeah. He had it at the, the air dodge. The air dodge was free because he had no landing lag. He had it when he was holding shield. And then he waited, and YMCA could have done any option. He could have rolled. He could have spot dodge. He chose jump, which was the worst option of the three <laughs> options that he could have picked. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but another one up for a KO punch. Oh, yep. And 2 1 YMCA, and we have another game on Pokemon Stadium. You now, I really want to see one of these down tilts connect. Oh! oh. 
I mean, YMCA is just like, yeah, you're off stage. You're going to die now. Bam. Well, he usually goes for, like, jump forward air to try and catch, like, people doing, like, the, you know, mashing jump or buffering jump. Right. Uh, but that time he's just knew that YMCA wasn't going to pick an option and try and recover low, and he made great use of that knowledge. I like how he's using the up B to catch the high recovery, even if he can't get the low recovery from again. Okay, down, down, down. Oh, okay. oh no, that's dead. Yep. 95%. YMCA is on his first stock. Not looking good for Wes. Okay, another Ed Tilt connects. Now here comes the ledge trap. Oh, he went for the down air. All right. Oh, I like how what I'm seeing that he tried going. He baited out that side B too. And he gets a giant punch too. But Ooh, tech's it. Hit. Yep. Joel Haymaker does have a pretty big hitbox. Down smash? Nope. And a four tilt should take it. Yeah, but that's one down and two to go. And that's 62% right. already. Approaching ding dong percents. And ding dong, the witch is dead. The West is dead. The West is dead, <laughs> yeah. Donkey Kong wins. Okay, well, congratulations, YMCA. Continues to move on on stream and in bracket. Now advancing to losers finals. All right, he's going to play against K9 now. I wonder if K9 going to go Sheik. I feel like Sheik's a bad matchup for, D for, for, for Sheik just because DK. Like, because at least in four, you know, Sheik was able to output enough damage in edge guard.